Yes, my name is Bench and welcome to our rail tutorial series. In the last video we looked at the basics of docking to a rail. Wow, there's some really noisy birds in the background. Anyway, we're going to actually look at how we actually get some movement going for our entity that gets docked. So we'll go grab the rail basic and we can actually go and toggle through it, holding control to get our advanced build mode up. And we'll make a big long line like so. And just for good measure, why don't I put one this way as well. So you can see this one leads onto that one and then leads over. Um, why not do 3D? Because we can do 3D as well. So we can move in all three axes. So we'll chuck that one up there and we'll move it across the other way. Because the other way is cool. It gives us a bit of a zigzaggy sort of look like so. Alright, so we've made our rails. So essentially, we'll dock our actual rail or our actual uh, entity that we want to dock, and we're going to dock it to this end one. Now, if I face this way, you'll see that when we dock, we actually will spin around, and that's because underneath our arrow is pointing this way, but what we're docking to is pointing that way. So it's going to orientate us when we dock. And that's the first thing that it'll do, and then we'll move along at that movement and we'll stay facing that way because we have no rotary block so you can see that's going to do that sort of a movement so we'll go and we'll dock it and we can jump out and we can see it's doing that movement so it goes along it goes in the direction that we point you can see there it goes it goes up it goes over and uh we've reached the end because we haven't made a loop but you see it moves at the same speed across all of them because we have nothing changing the speed it's a very light sort of ship but you can see we move it in whatever directions we want. Now, some of the upwards and downwards and moving in that third axis sometimes won't work on certain sides of our actual rail. That's because it won't go backwards. It wants to go forwards all the time, and so it's detecting those. So it's going forward into it and up. The other cool thing is that it's constantly in motion. So if I were to then direct it to go down like so, we'll get it to there for the time being, then it's actually going to remember or keep moving whoops, in those directions, then so we can move it in this way like so, then we'll finish it off and there we go, we've gone and we've gone around and we can even feed it back if we toggle it around and using tab 3 and 4 we can actually toggle that without undocking it because otherwise we've got to redock again and there we go, we've got a, a motion in a loop going on all three axes which is really cool so it's not rotating, it's still orientated facing this way if we fly underneath you can see that's the way that the arrow is pointing even when we move across because that's the way that we initially docked it with uh, pointing and so there we go that is uh, getting it to move in linear motion in all three axes not that difficult to do we haven't had to use any logic to do it and it will just constantly do that it'll pause when we get server updates uh, but then we'll start right on back up after that autosave has happened so in the next video we will start looking at what to, what we can do with getting it to move or uh, rotate using the rotary blocks that we have until next time, my name is Bench and thanks for watching.